little more than 20 years ago, Bishop Martin Lonabo had an idea. He wanted to create a tool to help himself and others living in a secularized time to pray. He made his first copy of the Beads of Christ, an aid for discipleship in our time. Well, my name is Paul Colton. I'm the Church of Ireland, Bishop of Cork. The Church of Ireland is an Anglican church in Ireland. Uh, my diocese is a small diocese in the far south, the Diocese of Cork. And through personal contact uh, with Bishop Johan Dahlman many years ago before he was a bishop of the Church of Sweden, he introduced me to the beads and told me the wonderful story about them and of the various uses that they might be put in the life of the church. So I invited uh, Ewan Dalman to Cork to speak to my clergy in the diocese and uh, a number of them have been using them for confirmation preparation and prayer groups in the life of the parish. And I myself give them to each confirmation candidate and explain them uh, beads to them uh, every year. And so we've been doing that now for the last 15 years and the beads have proved quite popular. Uh, but of course there's a lot of scope uh, to use them because they go beyond the imagination really in their, in their use. Well, they are so flexible as a spiritual tool and uh, they can be used in such a variety of ways by all ages. They're tactile. Uh, they also bridge the gap, I think, uh, they, they're in that gap between formal religion and informal. Uh, they work, people find that they help to focus prayer and uh, as I said already, I think they can be used flexibly in such a variety of ways. They can stimulate the spiritual mind and imagination. And uh, certainly I find that the young people to whom uh, I give a present of these beads at the time of their confirmation, they seem to like them and they, uh, for example, uh, they wear them on the day of their confirmation and many of them carry with, carry with them then, carry them with them through, through life afterwards. Well, in my own diocese, uh, and obviously I, I speak to my colleagues too about uh, increasing the use of the beads, but in my own diocese I'd like perhaps to move them beyond the confirmation age group and get them uh, used uh, by uh, more adults uh, in their own prayer life and uh, in the spiritual life of their uh, parishes and communities. Today, many congregations in Europe are praying with the beads and using them in their religious education, such as confirmation work, and they have become a visible sign of communion and discipleship. <laughs> 